why do those three, three things come together? And no matter what industry you're in, no matter what building or space you manage, be it offices or retail like Lend-Lease, be it uh, manufacturing facilities like Rolls-Royce or data centers, you're all here asking the same question, which is how can I get the air in my space better and more efficiently? And the reason you're asking that question is because no matter what industry you're in, you can't run it without a building that has three core utilities, which is power, water, and air. Those are the three utilities. Now let's look at how you'll procure those. When it comes to electricity and power, you go to someone like Singapore Power or another retailer, and they take on all of the investment in terms of the infrastructure and the equipment. They manage it, they operate it, they take on the risk, and you simply buy on a consumption basis, dollar per kilowatt hour. It's very, very easy, it's very, very simple. You do the same thing with water. With water for your buildings, there's someone like PUB, they invest in the infrastructure, they run the, the business, and you simply enjoy the product as a service. So then we now come to air. And oddly, when it comes to air, it's very, very different. You don't do any of that. When it comes to air, you as building owners invest in the infrastructure, all of the capex, all of the equipment. You as the building owners put in all the operation costs to run that equipment. You take on the management of a non-core activity because you're either developers or, um, or manufacturing facilities. You take on the management of a non-core activity, and then you take on additional business risk that you don't need to take on. And so you come to conferences like this, and you ask, how can I do it better? How can I do it more reliably? How can I reduce my cost? But think about it. How many conferences do you go to as building owners about power generation? Probably none. You don't go because the power guys go to those. You don't go to conferences on water. The water guys go to those. But you, as building operators and building owners, you're currently sat in a conference talking about how you can make air conditioning better. So we asked a slightly different question, and therefore we get a very different answer. And the question is, why isn't air as simple as power and water? Think about it. What was the last time you had an interaction with your power provider? How did you feel? You probably felt a little bit like this guy. It was easy. On a monthly basis, a bill comes to your office. You look at it, and they say, you use this much electricity. This is your rate. Therefore, this is how much you have to pay. You say, OK, the math adds up. That sounds great. You then say it's pretty much the same as what I paid last month. You put it in a file and you put it to your, in your desk and you go about running your business. That's it. You don't care about the efficiency of power generation or the reliability or productivity of power generation. That's it. And it's the same with water. So with power and water, and, and not just utilities, with everything that we're doing. We're increasingly moving away from an economy where we design, build, own, and operate our own equipment, and we're moving to a shared services economy. It's in We've heard a few examples today already from the big companies that are using outsourcing software that, that run our businesses. All the data storage, the five million points that we're collecting every minute of every day, we, we use other companies to provide that service. Transportation, telecommunications, even entertainment today. We are no longer investing in and operating equipment. We are simply enjoying services. So instead of asking how you can do air conditioning better or how you can make it more reliable or efficient, why don't you ask, why is air conditioning the odd one out? Why is everything else like this and air conditioning is not? And the answer to that is air conditioning as a service. Air conditioning as a service is simple. You dictate the conditions you want of the air in your space. And that's it. I want 23 degrees in my office. I want four degrees in my cold room. I want between 18 and 26 degrees in my hotel room. You simply dictate what you want and the service provider then takes on all of the investment in the infrastructure and the equipment they pay for all the OPEX, which is the electricity consumption which we're all talking about today. They take on the service and maintenance, the operations, monitoring compliance, and the risk. And now as a building owner, you can simply pay as you use at a fixed dollar per ton hour rate. That's air conditioning as a service. So now, when you look at your three building utilities which you need to run your businesses, you can procure them all in the exact same way. For air conditioning as a service users, what they do is they walk in on a Monday morning. If it's the end of the month, they get a bill from, a, from us that says you use this many ton hours, this was your rate, therefore you owe us this amount of money. It's exactly like buying power. It's exactly like buying water. So why should you do this? Why is this revolutionary? Why is it such a big deal? Well, you should do this because this is what your businesses look like. 
you're in the business of providing experiences or environments for office workers or for uh, retailers. You're in the business of providing environments for data centers to, to flourish or, or for manufacturing and production lines. That's your business. Your business does not look like that. That's what our business looks like. But think about it. Think about the amount of effort it takes to build, operate, and run a high-performance, energy-efficient air conditioning system. Everything that you've heard today is really hard. Not only do you have to use brand new equipment, but then you need to monitor it, you need to put in sensors, you need to get the data, you need to collect it, you then need to have some way of visualizing it on big screens that you put in your office. That's not quite enough, you've got to do downloading of the data, do analytics, that's not enough, you've got to do artificial intelligence, that's not enough, you've got to collate all this stuff together. That's what's required to give a high performance, energy efficient air conditioning system. And every minute of the day that you're doing that, you're not running your business, you're running ours. And the answer is you don't have to anymore. And because, of, because people no longer want to own equipment, because people no longer want to do all of this, air conditioning as a service has quickly become the business model of choice for buildings in Asia. At CARE, we supply over 25,000 tons of cooling to various buildings across Singapore. So right now we're delivering 25,000 tons of cooling to many, many different buildings, um, serving over 5 million square feet of space. They're in data centers, food processing, educational facilities, offices. It doesn't matter because in our world, air conditioning is all mission critical. It's the same. And it's used all over the world. So we do this at CARE. We provide air conditioning as a service in Singapore, Malaysia, India, um, and also developers like Lendlease are already using this sort of model uh, in Australia as well. So, that's really my entire presentation. It only takes five minutes to sum it up. And you might be thinking, where are all the technical slides? Where's all the engineering slides that I'm expecting in one of these kind of presentations? And the answer is I don't have one, or I don't have any. And the reason I don't is because the question you're asking is how do I have the most efficient air conditioning system in the world is not answered by a technical or an engineering solution. It's answered by a business model solution. And I know that because we've been working with Lendlease for a number of years across many different buildings in Singapore. And when we introduced the air conditioning as a service model, which we're doing at Pi Labor Quarter, it for the first time allowed Lendlease to focus on their vision, which Jack has already told you is to create the best places. It allowed CARE to focus on our vision and our purpose, which is better air for better spaces. And when you put those two things together, when building owners can do their job and air conditioning guys can do theirs, then you can create phenomenal spaces for your tenants and for occupants of our buildings, and you can also deliver disruption and innovation within the built environment.